What I love about your work is you take ordinary objects, right? Facade of a building. We pass buildings all the time, and yet it causes us to look at it in a new way. I, I think I, I'm interested in bringing some um, attention to to the ordinary reality that most of the time we take for granted. Uh, because I feel like it's in the ordinary where we build uh, our we build our strong sense of certainty. Mm -hmm. And once something happens in the ordinary, something um, unusual and different, surprising, that ordinary becomes extraordinary. And is within that experience, I feel we may reach uh, a sense of how much of our reality, our ordinary, is part of a construction, is part of a construction equally fake or equally fictional as an art installation. So we're a science museum, a science center. That's unusual for you to have your work in a science center. Um, yes, it is, but I've been always a very much uh, a fan of science museums ever since I'm a child. I think a science museum is a crossover disciplines. I think many, many different disciplines from physics um, to um, mathematics um, to art, uh, chemistry, I mean, um, biology. I mean, so many, uh, the umbrella of science is, is, is big. Right. And and I think that uh, what happened in a science museum, the type of, of, of proposal that a science museum does uh, in relation to learn through an experience is something that matches uh, somehow my practice in the field of art. I mean, I'm always interested in, in developing a fiction. Uh, it's not gonna be unlike in science, it's not going to be towards the understanding of a solid uh, truth or a law of physics, rather to build in the imaginary um, uh, a fiction. Um, but this creation uh, of the, uh, this narrative is to be found through the participation and the experience. Your work's about perception, right? That's a topic that can be approached from art. It's a topic that can be approached from science. And it's a topic also that can be approached by philosophy. Uh, because in a way, um, perception, which is so playful as well as we presented here, um, perception is the basis of our understanding of our world, our reality. I think that um, nowadays when we consider, when we, we think about children playing, we think that children are getting entertained. But actually playing is a matter of learning. We, we actually, we, we may forget, but we discover the world through our perception. Mm -hmm. And that is a inherent tool we all born with and, and we, you know, we, we are there like looking, uh, testing, touching, uh, and getting, uh, and figuring things out at early age, way before we, we get uh, like a formal education. And this is exactly uh, what happened here. I mean, we are grown we ups. Play. Yeah, right, we're, we're grown ups <laughs> and we are again yes. uh, invited to use our perception to figure things out. And, um, and I think that's what brings them real joy on the, on the play. It's not like any other uh, game. It's, it's just the fact that we are addressing uh, that part of our psyche 
that uh, link to to an early stage of learning? Your art's very accessible, right? I mean, a 90-year-old could enjoy this, a three-year-old can enjoy this. Is that, do you think about that? Is that important to you? Uh, it is important to me, uh, but it's not uh, something that has been planned or neither e ever attempted to be a strategy. I do think it's accessible as well, not only in terms of age, but also in terms of uh, education, background, culture. They were, you know, I've been displaying my work in different places and there's always this uh, connection, at least on a first, uh, on a first immediate level where uh, people are able to, 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 right. to participate, to connect, to get engaged on something. Uh, later, I guess there would be differences on how you know uh, another layers on 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 the reading or the conceptual sense of the work. I always say that the in in the installation the viewer plays the three roles all together: is is the viewer, is the actor, and is the interpreter of. Right of the whole scene. Thank you, Leandro, for first of all, doing this and coming all the way from Buenos Aires to join us tonight. Thank you, Paul. Thank, Thank you. you very much.